As many of you likely know by now, I'm a pretty big proponent of the Google Chrome browser for iOS. In fact, I'm a big Chrome fan in general. I just think it's a great browser with tons of features that are very usable and they just make sense. So in this video, I'm going to discuss the top 10 features for Google Chrome on iOS. So let's start with number 10. Voice search. Bob Mansfield. Yes, with Google Chrome, you can use the voice search that was previously built in the standalone Google app and search with your voice directly from within the browser itself. No more external browser navigating because everything's accomplished within Chrome. Next feature, incognito tabs. Now, of course, this is a feature that is taken from the desktop version of Chrome. It allows you to have private browsing features so that maybe you're shopping for a significant other. You can buy in peace without them knowing that you're buying them a gift, for instance. I like to use it a lot when it comes to troubleshooting, login issues, etc. Now, one thing nice about the Chrome version is that it actually acts as a standalone separate browser. When you have incognito mode enabled, when you have incognito tabs, then you can easily switch to them using a little button right here in the upper right hand corner and those stay separate. They don't intermingle with the public visible tabs. They stay in their own separate place. It's like having two separate browsers. Next feature is called tab syncing and like iCloud tabs for iOS 6, it allows you to sync tabs across multiple devices. You can see here I have my, my iMac, I have my MacBook, I have my iPhone, and I can sync across multiple devices. Notice I had CNN on my iPhone. That same tab is located right there on my iPad. Now let's illustrate this again. I'm going to navigate to a website. Let's try Microsoft. So I'm gonna to go to Microsoft's website here and I'm gonna show you how the tab syncing works. It's pretty, it's pretty awesome. So there's Microsoft's website. All right, so now I'm gonna open up Chrome on my iPhone. I'm gonna to go to the other devices, and there it is, folks. Microsoft Corporation, just tap that. It's synced directly from the iPad, just like that. So it's cloud syncing across multiple devices. As long as you're logged in with your Google account, then you can have access to this awesome feature. The next feature is desktop versions, and this basically allows you to change your user agent to that of a desktop browser so that you can on the fly change from the mobile version of a website into the desktop version of that same website. All you need to do is tap the request desktop site under the settings toggle, and there you go. Right there on the fly, it'll go ahead and switch over to the desktop view, change your user agent right there on the fly, and all you need to do is close that tab and reopen, you can go back to the mobile site. Next feature is swipe gestures. With Chrome, you can swipe back and forth using a simple tap, hold, and swipe over to the left, to the right. You can also do the same thing in incognito mode, just like this. So swipe gestures are a really easy way to navigate on the iPad, but on the iPhone, you can also swipe away tabs to dismiss those individual tabs as well. Next up to bat is most visited. This is sort of like the speed dial plugin that you find with Firefox, or if you're running Chrome on the desktop, this will be instantly familiar to you. You have all your most visited tabs or most visited websites in sort of like a speed dial mode. And then you also can tap and hold to invoke this menu, which allows you to open in a tab or remove that. You can also undo anything you remove as well, just by tapping that right there. Notice below, you also have your recently closed tabs as well. Next up to bat is Omnibox and search history. This is one of the awesome features about Chrome. The Omnibox obviously allows you to search and browse directly to websites via the same box. And it also has your history items there, as you see there, the little clock. Those are my history items. Also, the stars are my bookmarks. So everything's kind of contained, easily accessible within the same place. Now, another thing I like about this is when you're doing a search, since you don't have arrow keys on the iPad, if you tap a search result, it just searches that immediately. But what if you just want to put that in the box? You just tap that arrow there, it places that search term in the box so you can continue to flesh out your search term. You don't actually have to search that item right then and there. You can continue to type more details for that search, which is nice. Next up is bookmarks. You have all your desktop bookmarks, all your mobile bookmarks synced across every device, your desktop, your iPad, your Mac, your PC, whatever you're using Chrome on, you can sync all of those easily and efficiently, just like that. It's super simple and frankly, it just works. Next up is preloading and predictive search. If you go to the settings tab and tap settings and go to privacy, 
you'll notice the preload settings and the suggestions or the predictive search settings. You can turn on preload to work only on Wi-Fi or always or never, so you have some options there for your privacy. The same thing goes with suggestions. You can turn that off or on if you wanna do that. And this can really help speed up your browsing experience. Speaking of speed, I wanted to talk about just that. Now, a lot of people say that since Chrome can't be optimized with all the under the hood efficiencies that Safari benefits from, then it's just abnormally slow. It's just, it's just unusable, but that's not the case, folks. Chrome is definitely usable and just all the features we just covered make the speed differences which are negligible to begin with, it makes those speed differences worth dealing with. If you're a Chrome user on the desktop, you're gonna to wanna to use Chrome on your mobile device. It's just as simple as that. So let me know what you guys think about this synopsis of Google Chrome on iOS. Do you agree with these 10 features? Have you found other features that you find even more useful? Then let me know what you think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownload Blog.